And at the end, he said, "Is there anything else you want to tell me?" Dan pada akhirnya dia mengatakan, apakah ada hal lain yang kau ingin uh, atur? She said, no, I think that covers it. Dan dia mengatakan, tidak, itu sudah cukup. And then she said, oh, no, I just remembered something. Dan dia mengatakan, oh, saya baru ingat sesuatu. When I die, I want you to bury me with a fork in my right hand. Waktu saya mati, saya ingin engkau mengubur saya dengan garpu di tangan kanan saya. She said, oh, what? Dan dia mengatakan, apa? I want a fork in my right hand. Saya ingin ada garpu di tangan kanan saya. Why is that? Kenapa? Because in all of my years of attending potluck, <laughs> when the ladies came around to collect the plates, pada saat orang-orang mengambil untuk pilih itu, they always say to me, "Keep your fork." <laughs> Because dessert was coming. <laughs> Something better was coming. <laughs> so I want you, when I'm in the casket, to make sure there's a fork in my right hand. <laughs> People ask you, why does she have a fork in her hand? I want you to tell them. It's because she believed that the best is yet to come. Friends, the best is yet to come. Take your Bible. Come with me to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 21. Revelation 21. And oh, we're going to pick up reading in verse 1. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven And the first earth had passed away. Dan bumi yang pertama telah berlalu. Also, there was no more sea. Dan laut pun tidak ada lagi. Now just pause right there. Sekarang kali lagi kita berhenti. No more sea. Tidak ada laut. Right now, I am separated from my family by a large ocean. Sekarang saya itu dipisahkan oleh keluarga saya dengan laut yang begitu besar. Good news. No more sea. Itu adalah kabar baik. Tidak ada laut lagi. Then I, John, saw the holy city. Dan aku melihat kota yang kudus. New Jerusalem. Yerusalem yang baru. Coming down out of heaven from God. Turun dari surga dari Allah. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Yang berhias melihat pengantin perempuan yang berdandan untuk suaminya. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying. Lalu aku mendengar suara yang lain berkata itu berkata. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Lihatlah, kemah Allah ada di tengah-tengah manusia. And he will dwell with them. Dan dia akan diam bersama-sama mereka. And they shall be his people. Dan mereka akan menjadi umatnya. God Himself will be with them and be their God. Dan dia akan menjadi Allah mereka. And God will wipe away how many? Dan dia akan menghapus seberapa banyak? Every. Semua. Every tear from their eyes. Semua air mata dari mereka. There shall be no more death. Dan tidak akan ada lagi kematian. No sorrow, no crying. Tidak akan ada perkabungan atau orang tangis. There shall be no more pain. Atau luka cita sebab segala sesuatu yang lama itu telah berlalu. For the former things have passed away. Sebab segala sesuatu yang telah lama itu telah berlalu. Then he who sat on the throne said, Ia yang duduk di atas tata itu berkata, Behold, I make all things new. Lihatlah, aku menjadikan segala sesuatu baru. And he said to me, Dan ia mengatakan kepadanya. Right. Tuliskanlah. For these words are true. Karena segala perkataan ini adalah tepat dan benar. And hopefully will happen. Dan semoga akan terjadi. Yes. And thankful. Dan setia. Amen. Amen. Friends, heaven is real. Teman-teman surga itu benar-benar ada. And I want to just we're going to go through. I want to let me say this. Are you aware? The fact that in the ancient world, there are seven wonders. Ada sepuluh kajian. Tujuh kajian. Have you heard of them? Ada kajian-kajiannya. The pyramids in Egypt. Jadi piramida di sana. The Hanging Gardens in Babylon. Dan taman-taman di Babylon. This morning. Before I get to the middle of my sermon, I want us to meditate on seven wonders of heaven. And the first wonder is this. Heaven will be a real home. 
Heaven is not a matter of speculation. So dia itu bukanlah suatu spekulasi. Heaven is a matter of fact. So dia itu satu yang benar benar ada. It is as real as this podium right here. Itu sangat ada seperti podium di sini. It is not some cloud where we sit on as disembodied spirits. Itu bukanlah satu awan di mana kita duduk seperti roh yang tidak apa apa. And strum a harp forever. Dan tidak berhilang. No, the Bible tells us that redeemed will find themselves on solid earth. Tidak, karena Alkitab mengatakan bahwa yang diselamatkan akan menemukan mereka di mereka di dunia yang tepat. Come to Isaiah chapter 65. Marilah kita membuka Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65 verse 21. Alhamdulillah, Isaiah 65 ayat 1. Isaiah 65 verse 21. Isaiah 65 ayat 21. The Bible says, "They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. That sounds pretty real to me. Again, in I think it's First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine. Lagi juga kita melihat satu Korintus dua ayat sembilan. First Corinthians two verse nine. Satu Korintus dua ayat sembilan. The Bible says, Alkitab pun mengatakan, I have not seen, mata tidak pernah melihat, nor ear heard, bahkan telinga tidak pernah melihat, nor entered into the heart of man, bahkan tidak pernah masuk dalam hati manusia. The things which God has prepared for those who love Him. Amen. Some people have said, and they usually young people. Sekarang anak muda banyak menyatakan biasanya anak muda. Shrisa, don't you think heaven will get a little bit boring? Shrisa, mungkin tak kalau berpikir bahwa surga itu mungkin menjadi bosan. If we're gonna be there forever, bila kita akan berada di sana untuk selama lamanya. What are we gonna do forever? Apakah yang akan kita berdua di sana selama lamanya? The good question. Forever is a very long time. Remember, friends, we are not dealing with Steve Jobs. Ingatlah, teman-teman, kita tidak tidak sedang bertemu dengan Steve Jobs. Or any famous author. We are dealing with God, the Creator of the universe. Atau orang yang lain. Kita sekarang sedang bertemu dengan Tuhan yang menciptakan segala hal. Don't you worry. Atau kau 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 tidak perlu khawatir. You will never get bored in heaven. I've only been here for a few days. And I will have been here for a few days. And I think I could spend a long time in Jakarta and not get bored. So heaven is going to be good. One number one, heaven is a real place. Jadi yang pertama, surga itu adalah tempat yang benar-benar ada. One number two, heaven is a beautiful place. Jadi yang kedua, surga itu tempat yang sangat indah. There will be no dreary deserts. Tidak akan ada pada gunung lagi. No great wastes of water. Tidak akan ada air kotor. I don't know if we're going to have cameras in heaven. Saya tidak tahu apakah kita akan punya kamera di surga. I kind of hope we do. But you think everywhere you point your camera in heaven? Tapi apakah anda pernah berfikir dalam mana kita menunjukkan kamera kita di mana? It's going to be incredible. Itu akan menjadi sangat luar biasa. Beauty will stretch in every direction. Indah itu akan datang dari berbagai macam direksi. I'm sorry, it's going to look better than Jakarta. Minta maaf, itu akan lebih baik lagi dari Jakarta. I don't know. Has anybody here had the privilege of going to England? Saya tidak tahu dari sini, tapi apakah ada yang pernah pergi ke Inggris dari sini? Did you go to London? Apakah anda pergi ke London? Wasn't it beautiful? Bukan tak ada sangat indah. Well, I went to London. Waktu saya pergi ke London. Should have brought my pictures, but the buildings there were incredible. Sebutnya saya bawa akan gambar gambarnya, tapi bangunan sana itu sangat indah. Every street had so much character. Semua jalan itu sangat mempunyai karakter. But let me tell you, heaven's going to be better than London. Namun jelas saya berkata bahwa surga itu akan lebih baik lagi daripada London. Revelation 22, wahyu 22, verse 1, ayat 1. Says, Revelation 22 verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. Lalu ia menunjukkan kepada saya sumur 
sesuai ayat di depan. Clear as crystal, yang jernih bagaikan kristal. Proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb, dan mulai keluar dari tata Allah dan tata anak domba itu. When I was in California, pada saat saya berada di California, I went to San Francisco one day. Saya pergi ke San Francisco pada satu hari. And my host showed me. They took me to. Dan yang menjadi perimbangan di situ membawa saya. The Golden Gate Bridge. Kejubatan emas. Have you ever seen the Golden Gate Bridge? Apakah anda pernah melihat jubatan emas? There is nothing golden about the Golden Gate Bridge. Tidak ada emas dari jubatan emas ini. I can't say much about the water beneath it either. Saya tidak bisa mengenai banyak tentang air di bawahnya juga. In fact, I was appalled to learn. Bahkan saya sangat kaget untuk mengetahui. That that is one of the most popular places. Bahwa itu adalah satu tempat yang sangat popular. For people to commit suicide. Bagi orang untuk bunuh diri. I think every week they say approximately 10 people jump to their deaths. Mungkin dikatakan setiap minggu itu sekitar 10 orang jatuh dari jembatan itu. Not so in heaven. Jadi tidak sama seperti di surga. Amen. Ellen White after seeing a vision of heaven. Ellen White punya suatu gambaran tentang surga. She said something to the effect of this. Dan dia katakan, Oh that I could talk in the language of Canaan. Bila mana saya bisa berbicara dalam bahasa Kanaan? I could tell a little of the glory of a better world. Saya akan mengatakan sahaja kecil tentang kemuliaan dari negara yang lebih baik itu. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna keep you saying Amen to keep you awake. Alright, heaven is a real place. Heaven is a beautiful place. Heaven is a peaceful place. That's the third one. We will not need to lock our doors in heaven. You won't even need to lock your car there. We don't even know if we're going to have a car. When I came here from Sydney, Waktu saya datang ke sini, I'm sure all the airport staff knew that this was my first time. Saya yakin bahwa staff itu tahu bahwa ini adalah saat pertama saya. Because every zip on all of my bags had padlocks on. Karena setiap zip dari barang saya itu ada kuncinya. I didn't want anyone to steal anything. Karena saya tidak ada orang yang mengambil dari saya. But not so in heaven. Even the animals will be at peace. Tetapi tidak seperti di surga. Bahkan kita tetap tahu pun mereka akan berdamai. Come back to Isaiah. Isaiah 65, verse 25. This is wonderful. Isaiah 65, verse 25. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox. Serigala dan anak domba akan bersama-sama makan rumput. Singa akan makan jerami seperti lembu. And dust shall be the serpent's food. Dan ular akan hidup dari itu. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Tidak ada yang akan berbuat jahat atau berlaku busuk di segenap gunungku yang kudus, katakan Tuhan. Isn't that beautiful? Rasanya itu sangat indah. Now, I don't know if you remember, some of you might have been here early the other morning. Saya tidak tahu apakah kau ingat mungkin kau dari di sini. So do you remember I told you I was here ready to preach at two o'clock in the morning? My roommate is Heidi. She's been giving me a hard time on that ever since. But last night we broke even. Because. I had my alarm clock set early to try and get here for some of the prayer time. Karena alarm clock saya saya mencuba untuk pasang lebih pagi lagi supaya saya bisa datang ke doa pagi. I was having a great sleep. Dan saya menunggu yang sangat enak. And then the next thing I know, dan sebelum saya mengetahuinya, she says, "Jesus, Jesus!" Dia mengatakan, "Jesus, Jesus!" She jumps out of bed, turns the light on, and jumps back on her bed. Lalu dari tempat tidur dan balik lagi ke tempat tidur. She said, "There's a rat in our room." Jisa, ada tikus di kamar kita. I said, "Are you joking?" Because I thought she was teasing me about the two o'clock thing. Because it was three something in the morning when she did this. Dan dia saya akan aku kamu bercanda. But that rat apparently jumped up. She might have to correct this, but I understand. 
he jumped up next to him on the bed. Yeah. 
This is one of the wonders of heaven. Ini adalah suatu kajian dari surga. Do you know the song with Jesus in the family? Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Jesus in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. We're going to have a happy home for all eternity. Amen. Amen. And you know something else about this happy home. I'm looking forward to the family reunion we have on the way there. My grandma, she passed away two years ago now. My dad managed to get to Samoa um, just before she died. He told her. He told her what he told her. He said to his mama, listen for the trumpet. Because when the trumpet sounds, the dead in Christ rise first. And are you looking forward to that? I'm looking forward to that too. One another. One of the five, heaven will be a healthy home. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 24. Isaiah 33, verse 24. Says the first line. And the inhabitants will not say, I am sick. Tidak suara pun yang tinggal di situ akan berkata, aku sakit. No more doctors. Dan tidak akan lagi ada doktor. No more medicine. Tidak akan lagi ada obat-obatan. We're all going to be healthy. Kita semua akan menjadi sehat. And look at good 21. Dan akan menjadi seorang berumur bersatu yang sangat baik. And why will we be so healthy? Dan kenapa kita akan menjadi sangat sehat? In the book of Revelation, it says we're going to eat from the tree of life. Karena di buku ayat dikatakan kita akan makan dari pohon kehidupan itu. Amen. Amen. One number six. Heaven will be a glorious home. So be it. Come over to Revelation chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-three. Let's look at Revelation chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-three. Because when John saw the holy city in vision, he couldn't describe it except for saying it looked like a dazzling jewel. Beautiful, glorious. Revelation 21 verse 23. The city had no need of the sun, or the moon to shine in it, dan bulan untuk menyinarinya. For the glory of God illuminated it, sebab kemuliaan Allah menerangnya. Dan anak tua itu adalah lampu ini. Last wonder of all. Then Ajiba no Kaki Ayala. Wonder number seven. Ajiba no Kaki. When I went to England, waktu saya pergi ke Inggris, I went to London by myself. Saya pergi ke London sendirian saya. After the train from Manchester arrived in London, saya pergi ke kereta dan pergi ke London, and I had six hours to spend there. Dan saya punya enam jam untuk tinggal di sana. So I hopped in one of these tour buses, two-story buses. And it takes you past all the great sights of London. We went past Westminster Abbey, St Paul's, where Princess Diana and Prince Charles got married. We went past the London Eye. The London Bridge, dan juga Jembatan London. It's not falling down. And we could get off at any stop along the way. Dan kita bisa turun di berbagai macam tempat sampai kita pergi. But there was only one stop that I wanted to get off at. Namun hanya ada satu stop yang saya ingin turun. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. I wanted to meet the Queen. Saya sangat ingin bertemu dengan ratunya. So when I got to Buckingham Palace, I got off and I went and stood at the gate and I looked in to see if I could see her. You know, 
sudah tidak beroperasi itu kok Bahkan dia tidak pergi jalan melalui jendela untuk saya But when I went to Pompeii after Tapi pada saat saya pergi ke Pompeii Saya tidak tahu where Pompeii is Mungkin Anda tidak tahu Pompeii itu di mana It's in Micronesia, a little island Itu di bawah Indonesia, sama Pompeii kecil I was driving along with the crew that were there We had PYC Pacific Islands in for Christ I think that's what it stands for, PYC Saya sedang berjalan dengan kru di sana Dan ada satu PYC, Pacific Youth Conference We were driving around sightseeing one day Dan pada saat kita sedang menikir bersama Untuk melihat akan pemandangan And then the girls that were in my car said Sharissa Dan perempuan di belakang mobil saya mengatakan Sharissa You see that car over there? I looked Apakah kau melihat mobil di sana dan saya melihat Said in that car is the king and queen of Pompeii. Di mobil itu adalah ratu dan raja Pompeii. I said, do you think I can get a photo? I can photo. Dan saya katakan, bisa tak saya foto orang orang itu? I had to check because they weren't sure if it was culturally appropriate. Saya harus cek karena tidak tahu apakah itu bisa di budaya itu. You know what? Namun apakah kau tahu? I got to have a photo with the queen of Pompeii. Saya bisa foto dengan ratu Pompeii. Not only that, but our crew, our team, surrounded their car, and we prayed with the King and Queen of Pompeii. Amen. 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 Heaven, in heaven, di dalam surga, God will be there. Tuhan akan berada di sana. The wonder of heaven is that it is God's home. So terus sangat baik tentang surga adalah itu adalah rumah Tuhan. And in, you know how I wanted to see the Queen and she wouldn't invite me in. Anda mengetahui bagaimana saya ingin bertemu dengan Ratu namun dia tidak tidak mau mengundang saya masuk. We're still in the Book of Revelation. Bagaimana kita masih di Buku Wahyu? Marilah kita lihat apa yang ayat empat katakan di pasal itu dua. It says they shall see his face. Mereka akan melihat akan mukanya. And his name shall be on their foreheads. Dan namanya akan tertulis di dalam mereka. Amen. Heaven without Jesus would be no heaven at all. Surga tanpa Yesus itu seperti tidak di surga. But the Bible says we will see him face to face. Namun kita mengatakan kita akan bertemu dia wajah ke wajah. Not only that, back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, 66, verse 23, the Bible says, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. We're going to be keeping the Sabbath in heaven. Kita akan menguruskan apa hari Sabat di surga. So guess what? Every time we keep Sabbath here on earth, jadi lihatlah bila mana kita menguruskan apa hari Sabat di dunia ini. We're just practicing for the Sabbaths in heaven. Kita akan menguruskan Sabat di surga. And now to the Book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. You know this. Yohanes, pada ayat satu dan tiga. Jesus says, "Let not your heart be troubled." You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, Persiapkan akan kembali itu untuk anda. I will try to come back. Aku akan datang. I will come again. Aku akan datang lagi. And receive you to myself. Dan akan menerima engkau untuk diriku. That where I am, sehingga di mana aku berada, there you may be also. Kau pun akan berada di sana. And that brings us to the first point of the sermon. Don't worry, the fifth point. First point. Dan itu membawa kita kepada satu poin dari kota ini. God wants you to be in heaven. He wants us to get there. But he doesn't just want us to get there. 
kita hanya untuk berada di sana. He wants us to fit in when we get there. Dia ingin kita untuk merasa bahwa kita itu bisa berada di sana. In other words, really? Dan kata lain, apakah benar? In order for heaven to one day be our home, untuk agar surga itu bisa menjadi akan kegiatan kita, it's gonna be our home right now. When I was coming back from England, it's a long way. It's a long way from here. It's like 22, 24 hours flight. But on my way home from England, I was so excited. You know how the planes have those televisions on the back? Tahu bagaimana um, di saat itu ada televisi di belakang? The only channel I watch salah satu channel yang saya lihat was the one that had the flight path. Yang, yang ada jalan akan pesawat itu. And the countdown clock. Dan juga ada countdown. I was excited because I knew when I got back home. Saya sangat semangat karena waktu saya, saya tahu saya balik rumah. I would fit in there. Saya pasti akan diterima di sana. We all sort of sound the same there. I know how things work in Australia. I know how the trains work. I know how uh, how the road rules work. And my family is there. So I wanted to go home because I knew I belong there. So how do we ensure that we belong in heaven? Come over to the book of Revelation again. Revelation chapter 22. And just notice verse 14. Oh, sorry, let's try. Um, no, let's see what verse 14 is. The Bible says. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter through the gates into the city. Now, in a few chapters before, in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 1, the Bible says something very interesting. It says, then I, then I looked and behold a lamb standing on Mount Zion. And with him 144,000 having his father's name written on their foreheads. Now, in the Hebrew context, a name is symbolic of character. And so when the Bible says they have their father's name on the forehead, it is like saying they have his character. And when we see the character of God most clearly displayed, it was most clearly demonstrated on the cross on Calvary. This is why it says, hanging on the cross, Christ was the gospel. But not only that, but the law, God's Ten Commandments law, is a transcript of His so how can we how can we keep God's law? Jadi bagaimana kita kita bisa menjaga akan sepuluh pun itu? Not in our own strength. Bukan dengan tenaga kita. We have to allow God to give us the strength to do that. Kita harus biarkan Tuhan memberikan tenaga kepada kita. And that comes as we spend time with Him. Jadi itu akan datang waktu kita meluangkan akan waktu dengan Dia. Sitting at His feet. Saat kita duduk akan kakinya. I think of Mary Magdalene. Every time we meet her in the Bible, she is at Jesus' feet. Jesus comes to visit Martha's in the kitchen. Mary sitting at His feet. Lazarus dies. Jesus comes later. 
Mary, Mary falls at his feet. Lazarus mati, Yesus datang terlambat dan Maria pun tersungkur. On the resurrection morning, dan di hari kebangkitan, the choir in heaven is ready to welcome Jesus back. Nyanyi-nyanyi di surga sudah siap untuk menerima Yesus kembali. It is ready, the choir is ready to sing like you and I have never heard. Nyanyi-nyanyi itu sudah siap untuk menyanyi seperti yang kita tidak pernah lihat sebelumnya. But the choir has to wait. Namun mereka itu harus menunggu. Because Mary is sitting at Jesus' feet. Karena Maria itu sedang duduk di kaki Tuhan Yesus lagi. In the good times and the bad times, di waktu yang baik dan di waktu yang buruk, Mary is always at Jesus' feet. Maria itu selalu berada di kaki Tuhan Yesus. And I think that's one of the reasons why Jesus said, wherever the gospel is preached, tell the story of this woman. Dan mungkin itu mengatakan, kok pada saat Injil itu dikabarkan, ditemukanlah cerita tentang perempuan ini. So let's, as we leave IYC, pada saat kita keluar dari IYC, we've been spending time with God here. Kita telah meluangkan waktu dengan Tuhan di sini. Don't stop when you leave this place. Jangan berhenti pada saat kamu tinggalkan dan datang kali ini. Because all good love relationships, pada pada semua kasih cinta yang baik, mereka harus bertransfer. But it is developed within the crucible of time. Tapi itu akan di dikembangkan dengan waktu yang melalui banyak tahap. God wants you to get there. He wants you to fit in when you get there. He doesn't want you to walk in and say, Oh, I feel uncomfortable. He wants you the moment you step foot in heaven to say, I am hard. But the last point of this sermon, because the sermon should have three points, is this. God wants you to help others get there too. In the words of Randy Seat, if you're going to help, go alone. But if you're going to heaven, take somebody with you. I'll tell you one of the worst things about my trip to London. I was sitting on the top of that bus taking photos of everything. No joke, I had thousands of photos of them. But the annoying thing was, every time I saw something amazing, I would turn to tell somebody. Setiap kali saya melihat satu yang sangat baik, saya pasti akan menemukan orang di di sana saya. Then I was reminded that I was alone. Dan saya mulai ingatkan bahwa saya itu sendiri. When you have something exciting, pada saat anda punya sesuatu yang sangat menyenangkan, you want to tell everybody, right? Kalau ingin memberitahu kepada semua orang, benar? When you find something good, pada saat engkau menemukan sesuatu yang sangat baik, you want everybody to say, hey, come and see this. Kalau ingin orang untuk mengatakan tidaklah ini. Now let me ask you, does heaven sound good to you? Yes? Yes. Then we need to tell people about it. Because there are a lot of people in our world, I know in Australia, they don't know about heaven, they don't believe in heaven. But if you ask them where they're going when they die, they're going to heaven. Alright, let me emphasize this just a little more strongly. Come with me to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 21. Jesus says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. Janganlah kamu mengumpulkan harta di bumi, di bumi hangat dan karat kerusakannya dan pencuri mengumpulkan serta pencurinya. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, tetapi kumpulkanlah lebih baik mu harta di sorga, where neither moth nor rust destroys, di sorga hangat dan karat tidak kerusakannya, where thieves do not break in and steal, dan pencuri tidak mengumpulkan serta pencurinya. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Karena di mana harta mu berada, di situ juga hati mu berada. Now I have read that text many times, and I just always assumed that I knew what Jesus was talking about. 
Shazhan, when he said treasure, he's got to have been talking about the streets of gold. Waktu dia mengatakan tentang harta, mungkin dia itu mengatakan sudah pasti dia mengatakan tentang jalan emas. But there is a wonderful quote in the book Mountain Blessings. Namun ada satu perkataan yang sangat indah, which is 89 and 90. And it's quite a long quote, so I won't read the whole thing, but we'll try and do our best. It's a really good quote. It says, This treasure which Christ has seen is precious above all estimate is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Christ looks upon his people and their purity and perfection. Yesus melihat akan orang-orangnya, umat-umatnya dengan kesempurnaan mereka dan dengan kemurnian mereka. Has the reward of all his sufferings. Sebagai satu hadiah atas segala kesesaraannya. And we are permitted to unite with him. Dan kita diperbolehkan untuk bersatu dengannya. In the great work of redemption. Di pekerjaan besar penyelamatan itu. And to be sharers with him. Dan untuk menjadi berbagi dengan dia. In the riches which his death and suffering have won. Dalam kekayaan di mana dia telah mati. Listen to this. And every word or deed. Dan semua perkataan atau perbuatan. That through the grace of Christ shall kindle in one soul an impulse that reaches heavenward. Dan kasih karunia yang karena kasih karunia terdapat di satu jiwa itu pergi ke surga. Every effort that tends to the formation of a Christ-like character. Dan semua tindakan yang Mendorong untuk menjadi para para yang lebih baik lagi dalam bahasa Yesus. It's laying out treasure in heaven. Itu adalah menaruh harta dalam surga. You got amazing. Apakah itu satu hal yang luar biasa? And there's a whole lot more there, but she goes on to say how when we get to heaven, itu sangat ada lagi di situ, tapi dikatakan kenapa kita pergi ke surga? We will see souls that have been saved through our influence. Kita akan melihat jiwa-jiwa yang diselamatkan karena And we will see that one has saved others, and these still others. A large company brought into the kingdom. Banyaknya kelompok itu yang dibawa ke kerajaan surga. As a result of our efforts, as a result of our efforts, karena hasil dari tindakan-tindakan kita. The quote concludes with this. Dan quote itu berakhir dengan How precious will heaven be? Bagaimana surga itu akan sangat baik? To those who have been faithful kepada orang-orang yang tetap setia in the work di pekerjaan of saving souls dalam menyelamatkan orang jiwa jiwa. Amen. That was very important. Amen. Because listen, the treasure that God is calling us to lay up in heaven is people. You invest in God's faith, and you'll never lose anything. The returns are out of this world. There's not much money in mission work down here. You got to keep reminding yourself. You're not in it for the income. Berbuat itu untuk mendapatkan pendapatan. We're in it for the outcome. Tapi kita mendapat berada di situ untuk mendapatkan hasilnya. Amen. 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 Ya, itu itu malah terjadi pada saya. And I jumped out of bed. Yang saya bangkit bangkit dari tempat tidur. My mom said, "Should I think you slept? Then you're gonna miss the the bus." Jadi ibu saya mengatakan, "Jadi salah karena engkau terlalu telat tidur, engkau akan ketinggalan bus." But if you hurry now, I can drive you to the train station so you can get to your class on time. Namun bila anda engkau cepat cepat sekarang, saya akan membantu anda dan akan menjadi anda sampai ke sekolah. So I eat my breakfast. Lalu saya makan. Clean my teeth. Hop to the car and we rush to the station. I got there and I looked to my right. The train is coming in the distance. So I ran up the stairs and down the stairs. Bought my ticket at the ticket machine. 
saya info gap ke saya itu pada saat kita datang dan kita membuka jumping saya masuk ke dalam sangat very dramatic it was very dramatic dengan ini sangat dramatik tapi saya tidak sedramatik itu and I usually never look at my ticket but for this time I looked at the ticket that I had just bought before putting it in my purse ya saya saya tidak mengerti ticket itu tapi kali ini saya melihatnya dan menaruhnya ke tas saya I realized I had bought the wrong ticket saya belum menyadari bahwa saya I bought a return ticket to the station and I didn't want to get off here on the way home. So I thought if I put it away, maybe I'll forget about it. And maybe I could cheat my fare on the way home. But I went to you and the university and all I can hear in my head is you have bought the wrong ticket. Oh, she said she took 
istirahat di Charmy dan dia mengeluarkan kata-kata itu dan menunjukkan kepada saya It was called Bad Meditations dan itu memang mengatakan meditasi siang hari Kalau bisa happy to meditate on the trees, on the grass, on the mountains, on the nation I said, oh, well, Christians have daily devotional books, so that's why I thought you might have been a Christian. So she said to me, are you a Christian? I said, yes, I'm a Christian. She said, well, what kind of a Christian are you? She said, are you a Buddhist Christian, a Catholic Christian, a Presbyterian Christian? What kind of Christian are you? I said, oh, well, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. She said, oh, you're in what's that? I always get so excited when people say that. I said, well, as a Seventh-day Adventist, I believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God. And in the Bible, we are told that God created this world in six days. Rested on the seventh, he blessed the seventh. Commands us to keep it holy. That's why we are seventh day Adventists. She says, oh yeah, I believe that too. She says, no, I believe that God created this world six days as well. Okay. I said, well, we call ourselves Adventists because we believe that Jesus is coming soon. And I said, as we look around us, we see signs that tell us it's coming very soon. And she says to me, I believe that too. I said, you do? She says, yes, I read books from all religions and I've read Matthew 24. She's telling me about Matthew 24. <laughs> She says, uh, hey, aren't you guys uh, vegetarians? She said, yes, we believe that health is very important. She said, I've, I've been a vegetarian for two years, it's better for you. She starts telling me how she believes the universal principles of thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Friends, here is a random lady I meet at a train station. Who believes that God created the world in six days? She believes Jesus is coming again, coming soon. She's got the health message. And I'm thinking, she's a Seventh-day Adventist and she doesn't even know it. <laughs> I'm going to get her number, but I'm too shy to ask. I said to her, do you go to church? She said, no, but I meet with a group of friends. Every Saturday, to pray to God. We do not know who or what He is, but we believe that there is a God. Because when we pray, good things happen. So I 